Augies worldwide. I had a question as to what Augies are. Augies are followers of OG. I'm KE0OG, and Augies are those who have subscribed to this channel. There are almost 64,000 Augies out there. So if you're not yet subscribed to this channel, go ahead and do so. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, and today we're going to start a little bit of testing of the D578UV uh, radio. Uh, this comes to us from Bridgecom Systems. Bridgecom Systems is a repeater builder and also a dealer for some of the uh, Anytone radios, particularly the DMR radios. The reason it's important to know about Bridgecom Systems is because they are the only supplier in North America that provides extensive support, including video courses on how to use DMR, how to set up your radio, how to set up code plugs. They even have code plugs that may be pre-built for your area, so you should check with them. And you get it the same price as you're going to get anywhere else, and all of this service is free. So they, of course, can only support people who buy through them, but uh, that would be a very good reason to do that. And they do have this radio now in stock, the D578UV3 Pro with Bluetooth. It's got... I'm looking to see where it does the dinner dishes. I haven't found the menu item yet, but I know it's there. Now, I'm going to just get a few things set up. We're going to download the customer programming software, and we're going to read out the factory settings that are in the radio. And that's all we'll do today. We'll just keep this short. This is another daily special from KE0OG to you to help us keep us all occupied while we're all locked indoors. But you know one thing that works from indoors? Ham radio. Okay, one of the first problems we have is this cord. Um, it's got the connector on the end that goes into the little pigtail on the radio. By the way, this is a standard connector. Uh, other Japanese radios are just like it. The nice thing about this is that when you plug this in here, it actually latches. It won't pull loose. But this cord is designed for whatever routing you need to do to get it to the battery. And I'm going to set this up as a base station for right now. So I'm going to take a little bit of this 3M tape here. It's a stretchy plastic stuff that only sticks to itself. And I'm going to put in little bits of this tape like this at every corner. I'm going to, and you want to stretch this so that it actually works. I'm just going to put this around here. Again, this tape only sticks to itself, so, uh, and, and it does a pretty good job of sticking to the wire. So I'm going to just kind of do this all the way through this and uh, hold these together. So I'll speed it up. Yeah, that took about that much of the tape. That's not bad. This stuff's not sticky. And because it's not electrical tape, it will not become sticky. That's the problem with doing it with electrical tape. Anyway, this is much more manageable than it was here. So I'm going to leave the radio right here. And I'm going to plug this in. And this is going to go over to my power distribution system. So allow me. Okay, so we're looking at my station right here. Here's the radio. Here is the cord. And it's going to go around over to the back. Let's take a look at what's around back. Okay, this is the back of my station. My exercise right there. Fan to keep me from <laughs> sweating too much. And here is the incredible mass of cables that is behind my station. Now, pardon the jiggling. What I have over here is a, a power outlet with lots of outlets for all the things that need 110 volt power. 
here in the middle is my station ground right here okay and various things in the shack are grounded to it and then right here is the power distribution system now I got this quite some time ago and it's the rig runner 4012 meaning 12 outlets 40 amps total and I have discovered that that's gross overkill now we're going to add something like this to the reference station but not this big one okay we're going to pick one now the input voltage right here comes from the main station battery which is down here and that by the way is fed by another source over there where my main batteries are and that goes to the solar panel outside okay so we're gonna take this plug right here and plug it in here it's a 30 amp circuit and we'll just plug this in here and then we'll go back over and see if that works okay over here we have the connector and we're going to plug that connector into the end over here. I'm not sure about the... Oh, that's interesting. There we go. See, it's locked in place. You have to do like that to get it unlocked. See if that's actually giving us power. Yes, it is. Look at this. Look at this. It's asking for date and time and all that sort of thing. Calibrate date. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Let me put the. Uh, let me put this up. Okay, we got this far, now we need to attach the antenna. There's nothing in here about powering on the radio uh, or changing the time. Okay, nothing for first power on. So what we're going to do is just press menu to confirm. And then we'll have to figure out how to go back and set the uh, time. Now, just like the other Anytone radios, this takes a little while to come up. And there it comes up on something that is pre-programmed in. Okay. Now, these buttons, P2 or P1 through P6, are programmable function keys. They're not like, uh, like pre-programmed frequencies or anything in there. Okay. Now, the radio itself is about the same size as my other mobile radios. I have a single band, Kenwood and ICOM, and a dual band, Yesu, all FM only. So, um, to do comparisons with this, about the same size, same heft, same connections, everything that uh, we have on the other one. I note that this does have an upward firing speaker, which is good for mobile use, because like my, um, let me bring it down here. My Yesu, which is right here, I'll turn it on. Okay, my Yesu right here um, has a, uh, top firing speaker too up there all right and I just and note that there's lots of stuff on the handset just like there's a lot of stuff on the handset here okay and according to the manual this even has a speaker in it so it's a speaker mic and of course there's a speaker in here as well so what we're going to do right now is set this aside and then go over to the computer and download the programming software. Okay, we are uh, recording now. This is Bridgecom Systems, uh, bridgecomsystems.com. Okay, all one word. Uh, there's all different kinds of things that they have here that will help you understand DMR and so on. And this, of course, right here is the radio 
that we're looking at. Uh, it's got 45 watts on UHF, 50 on VHF. That's 70 centimeters, two meters, and five watts on 220, which is 1.25 meters. Uh, the fact that it's just five watts on that makes me think that uh, this band has been added as uh, a marketing advantage which is nice. I'm happy to see more use of that. It, it says, click here to order now. It shows you uh, the price for this. If you were to order this at, at, at Ham Radio Outlet, you don't get the Bridgecom University. You don't get all of the support. So that's why I suggest you do it from Bridgecom Systems. We'll just look at some of the little pictures here and the different uh, things, the ways you can mount it and so on. Um, and uh, so, oh well, interesting point. It comes with this little push to talk button. And here's the microphone and, and uh, uh, a video about the unboxing. I just did a, a video on the unboxing. But what we're gonna do today is go to support and we're gonna look at uh, this page right here, which is the AT D578 UV3 Pro support page and we're going to look for um, the programming software and the uh, and the uh, uh, firmware. Now, now notes that it has firmware version 1.06 this one came with version 1.06 so this is what we need right here this is the programming software and it's going to download and I'm going to put it um, since I'm using two drives here, I'm going to put it in downloads uh, and I'm going to put it under any tone right there. Okay, and uh, we're going to save it. Takes uh, not very long to download. And just a second here while it finalizes that, we'll go into uh, show in folder. Okay and it's uh, right here we have to now extract it so i'm going to right click on that and do extract all and i'm just going to take the um, standard extract right there in place and so it's going to show up right here now it's got something in here a read me first okay let's take a look at that it says change logs firmware updates firmware updates um, we don't need to do a firmware update so we're not going to worry about that there's the actual firmware for version 1.06 but but we're okay there now this is the software that we want okay and windows protector we're going to run it anyway. Okay, we're feeling wild today. And um, we get this. So we're going to do yes. The setup language is English. Here's the setup wizard. Okay, and I'm going to create a desktop icon because I'm going to need that. I'm going to do an install. And we'll go ahead and launch it. Why not? Okay, and there it is. Now I'm going to switch over to just this thing right here and uh, then we're going to uh, attach the programming cable. You normally want to get the software in place before you attach the programming cable. This is not what's in the memory. This is just a couple demonstration kinds of things here. We're going to download what's in the memory. Okay, let's get out the programming cable, which is this one right here. need to undo this good grief all right yeah they don't give you a whole lot of room this goes over here on the side right here it's where the
Okay. Okay, now I'm going to, oh, look at the mess my desk is in. By the way, that's the recorder for the audio, and that's the receiving unit. So we're going to just put this in right there. Okay, and we're going to go over here and take a look at what happens. Um, I'm going to come down here. and look at device manager and look at ports com3 it says okay well let's go up here to the software and go uh, set com we're gonna go with com3 and now we're gonna go program read from radio read do you wish to continue of course I do uh, I don't want the digital contact list. I just want the other data and look at that man first try First try so now I'm going to switch to What's up here and we'll explain what's in here. Okay? Okay, now this is what we have uh, downloaded from the radio. Okay um, We'll go up through here file this is open and save has to do with between the computer and this screen it has nothing to do with the radio save as you can give it a name okay uh new gives you a new screen it, it just clears everything oh wow what a whirlwind there's a lot of stuff to learn about this radio this is just the beginning we're going to go through this in a little bit more organized fashion but I just wanted to give you a little bit for your Thursday update. While the whole country is locked in, they just issued the lockdown order for Colorado uh, this morning. And uh, so we're sticking to home, which we were anyway. Um, and we'll learn more about this radio, but maybe a little bit more leisurely impact. Now, if you'd like to learn more about the D87, the D578UV3 Pro Plus, uh, and it's got Bluetooth, um, go to Bridgecom Systems, please. They are the people who provide support for these radios. Other vendors can't provide the same level of support. And I've got my horn here. You ready? I'm going to toot my own horn. Please go to uh, dcastler.com slash support for various ways that you can support this channel. And thank you to all of you who have been doing that. By, oh, let's see, it's the end of my horn tooting. Um, and Augie is going to be teaching me uh, ground school for sport pilot. And we're going to start that soon. Uh, of course, I can't do any flying lessons because we've got the stay at home uh, order right now. But I can do ground school via Skype. And so I say a great thank you to this Augie and uh, who's been a long time supporter and patron and uh, this should be fun but I will bring you a video every day about ham radio as long as we're going through this remember if you can't go outside your ham radio signal can so let's get on the air until we next meet 73